Jey Uso is here and he is a new man. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay Uso! Not content with being the right hand anymore, Jay Uso has set out on his own path. And it's a particularly treacherous path these days. There are a lot of men who have a grudge with his actions in the bloodline that are not easily forgotten. Jey Uso is intent on proving himself to those competitors in the entire WWE Universe. Man, I can't wait to see Jey Uso yeet some fools. No yeet. We don't do that, Saxton. Especially I do. You. No. Yeet. Yeet. Here comes Sami Zayn. Underdog no more. He has reached main event status. And his opponent. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn! Over the years, we have watched Sami Zayn transform from perennial underdog to a true main event player. He always had all the tools, but now he is really living up to his potential. The WWE Universe is on their feet for Sami Zayn. One word to describe the relationship between Jey Uso and Sami Zayn is tumultuous. These two have been everything from bitter enemies to his closest brothers. Yeah, emotions have to be high for Jey and Sami tonight. They both know each other so well and both know what lengths they're going to have to go to in order to get the win. We'll just have to see where their tumultuous relationship stands after this match. They're slamming their face down. And that negates Zane's offense. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Attack from behind. Neck breaker! Ah, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Elbow drop. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Point of the elbow, nailed it. All the momentum has swung to Jey Uso. A furious Jey Uso unleashing on Zayn here. A lot of emotions at play in this matchup, Corey. Who do you think has the better odds in this one, Jay or Sammy? Well, only one of these men has main event attached to their name, Cole. Both Jay and Sammy have high pressure, high level experiences under their belt, but Jay just might be hungrier to keep the main event moniker. And now he's looking for safety outside the ring. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a good opportunity to recalibrate. And Jay reverses. Oh, side coming. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Knee to the gut creates separation. Oh, with authority! Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Catching an elbow to the side of the face. He got whipped into that corner. Oh! Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. Sammy Zayn, take down. The coach is caught. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Yeah. 
clubbing blow to the back. Ooh! Jey Uso positions his opponent in the Ooh. corner. Boom! Hip attack. Shoulders down. Kicks out. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Cannot believe that Sami Zayn wants to prolong this fight any further. And Jay threw everything he had at his opponent. You gotta wonder what else he's gotta do to put him away. Boom! He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? with a swift elbow to the gut. Ooh, man! Caught with a clothesline. Using the elbow as a weapon. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. This is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Oh, taking a right to him. No waiting. Just like that, Sammy gets stopped. Netbreaker! Cinching in the arm ringer, but... And met with a right hand. Jey Uso's head. Shoulders down. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. What a crucial kick out, and the blood is still pumping for Jey Uso. Look at Sammy's eyes. Zayn absolutely thought that was going to do the trick. This is incredible. Sammy and Jey are more than fired up. They are molten right now. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Uh-oh. And what a reversal from Jey Uso. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Elbow drop. Piercing. Exhausted after what was a really tough match, and now look at this. Look at this mess. These two may go right now. No fear in the face of competition.
The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault. It's really hard to know what to make of Wyatt. There's a darkness at work here. A darkness that has swallowed Bray Wyatt whole. Wyatt concocted for this match. What is he thinking? I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. And his opponents, first from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds. Tyler Bates! This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. Well, we have seen time and time again that Tyler Bate has plenty of heart. A pure will to win. It has allowed Bate to defeat much larger opponents. And there's no mountain Bate can't conquer with a little hard work and a little more mustache wax. The powerhouse of positivity has arrived. And representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. Well, it's no secret Big E nor any other member of New Day knows any shame, but Big E should feel a little more at home here in NXT, a former NXT champion in his own right. A triple threat match underway with the opening bell. One more superstar to account for. One more eye to have in the back of your head. Any strategy you might have had going into this match, it's time to throw it out the window. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Oh my gosh, what impact. Gets inside the ring. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Uh-oh, this is just vicious, nasty stomp of the arm. Bam! Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! And there's the breakup. 
just in the nick of time. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. Bate cuts him off. Back suplex, no. Driven down. Uh-oh. Can't quite get him there. Power slam incoming, no. He'll take things into the ring. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Check your face out of that one. Fez press, raining down right hands. Every strike more devastating than the last. Goodness gracious. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Dominating shoulder tackle. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. In a triple threat match, you absolutely have to keep your head on a swivel. You can't just focus on one opponent, because the second you do, the other can easily sneak in and change the complexion of this match. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Up and around and... Held in a perilous position. Great escape there, ball to the back of the knee. Big ball. True joy of punishment there. And he's able to counter. And he's pulled the ring apron. I'm looking under there for something. And he goes for the pin. And he breaks up the count. Oh, man. Right to the esophagus. Vicious right forearm. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Position here. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. A running Hong Kong Rana. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. And returning to the ring. Tops down. What an unexpected show of strength for that attack.
Wyatt turns the tables. Ooh, and a reversal. Elbow puts an end to that. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Blows right to the body. It's two on one. No, don't do that. Arm ringer finger snap. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. The light from Bray's fireflies may be dimming. We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. And now's the time where the smartest competitor. Oh. Backfire into a DDT. Just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. He returns to the ring. Oh my goodness, that might have snapped a finger. Compromised position here. Play face first. Shoulder tackle. Vicious right forearm. Ooh, wallop. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. He breaks the hold. Oh, clubbing blow. And Big E continues to find a way to forge an attack. There is no let up in Big E. We are seeing that here tonight. <laughs> and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Comes back into the ring. to the stomach. Uh-oh, mandible claw, mandible claw! Big E's completely out of it. Hey, I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. What a kick out. The power of positivity lives on. Well, Big E used to say three ain't enough, but clearly that goes both ways. And Bray probably will see this as more chance to dispense his own hazardous brand of punishment. This is truly awesome. What's coming next? A back suplex. And Bray gets stopped in his tracks. And set right into the corner. Bate looking to humiliate his opponent. And back in the ring we go. Wild springboard attack. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. Big four. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Well executed suplex. <laughs> Planning on what to do next. Just yet. The sleeper hold is cinched in. Time to go night night. Sleep. Oh, this should have been over. But he breaks the hold. The powerhouse of the new day has his opponent up. Big ending. Will that clinch things for Big E? Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Vicious old stock. This is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. To the outside. This could get wild. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. And Bates steers clear there. Tyler Bates looking to lock it in. Way to put the curse. What a match this has been. What a fight. And we are all glad to be witnessing such an extraordinary match tonight. Uh-oh, Mandible Claw! Mandible Claw! This spells trouble for Bate. 
He's in his grasp. Launched with a belly to belly. Fought back with a punch to the gut. He climbs into the ring. He gets out of the way. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Huge top. Bait with a kick to the gut, double under. Oh, Tyler's Robber 97. Will Tyler make it pay off? Gets the win. What a triple threat. Here is your winner. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. And you can't get much better than the three men who just laid it all on the line here tonight. Sure, only one of them got the W, but all three of them just made it into the history books. A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin. Who could forget when Austin Theory beat John Cena at WrestleMania? And in case you forget, I'll remind you every time. When you have a rise like Theory has, every match presents a major test in your career. And he's passed every one of those tests so far. Unfortunately, there are too many doubters and haters who fail to realize just how talented Austin is. Theory is due, but he has the habit of letting his ego get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth? And his opponent from Redbird, Alabama, weighing in. 43 pounds, Brooks Jensen. A group of superstars who are all about the good old American life. Money, glory, and fun. Mostly the money. Now this man cannot let theory get under his skin. Must keep his focus here tonight. Brooks Jensen in the ring tonight, a gifted brawler who is looking to make a big impact and have fun doing it. What you love about Jensen? Achilles lock. This is going to be dead. 
All the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight him. He's trying to break out and does it. Softening up their opponent for the discus clothesline. Oof. Ooh DDT. He must have seen that coming. See the tolls of this match add up. Countered it just in time. And the manager is searching under the ring. He could only be looking for something nefarious down there. And I have to wonder, Corey, what would Austin Theory's game plan be for this matchup? We know he's got a lot of raw talent, but that can't always get the job done. Fair point, Cole, which is why Theory needs to rely on more than just said raw talent. He needs to rely on his in-ring smarts. If he can put together his brains and brawn, theory might be unstoppable. Crank in the head. The momentum shifted in Brooks' favor. But theory can't allow this rush to discourage him. That's that self-entitled confidence from theory. experience and a bit of a setback with that maneuver. Yeah, as Theory is definitely feeling even cockier here. Followed by an incredible blockbuster. Theory showing what it looks like to be on top of the world and on top of your game. Arm ringer. Well, that changed. Famous, sir. Good old-fashioned roughneck offense from Brooks Jensen. The cover. He gets the shoulder up at two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Gun kick. Nothing fancy there. Measuring. Oof. Stop! Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Achilles lock. Torture time. Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. And Theory able to adapt. Achilles lock. Picks the leg into the... Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. To the arm drag. Quick reversal. Oh, he's got him down. Is this it? Kick out close to three. He got close there. It could be due. This one's all but over. Dang it out. Oh, he kicked out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. And face off a fly. Thinking big. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. From the top, middle drop kick finds its mark. Uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Attack after attack on target. Brooks looking helpless to every attack. And that's theory using his brain and brawn. Proving he's more than just a pretty face with a flashy arsenal. He's a thinking man superstar. Delivering nasty stops. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Oh, finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. So it's Brooks Jensen.
Jackson, who takes the loss here. I can only imagine how a big win like this is going to add to the ego of Austin Theory. Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. They love to have fun, but they are all business inside the ring. You know, Carter and Chance were a team long before NXT even had a women's tag team division. And it's paid off because this team is the team to beat in all of WWE. The unholy enchantress, Isla Dawn. A superstar who claims to be guided by spirits. And their opponents, first from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn. The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE Universe. Dawn is, well, she's slightly unhinged. She's a walking nightmare, you mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah. We'll see if Isla Dawn's spells and spirits can get the job done tonight. Whoa, you better be careful, Corey. She might just put a curse on you. Here comes the sensational one. And from New Orleans, Louisiana, Sensational. driven to make people suffer and can intimidate any woman on the microphone or in the ring. A former WWE Women's Champion, she held the title for over a year, and Sherry looks ready to return to the top of WWE. She's not exactly afraid to enter a confrontation, and this won't be a cat fight. It'll be more like a massacre. Yeah, there's no mystery when it comes to sensational Sherry. She makes her intentions known immediately that she's coming for you. Scary Sherry is right. Katana Chance and Caden Carter. Two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. 
Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. Each team looking to make an impact, looking to shake up the landscape of the tag team division. Well, I'll take it one step further, Saxton. These teams have a goal of dominating the division. Put it in the corner now. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Targeting the stomach to reverse that maneuver. Oh, solid form. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. My God, enough. She can end it here. Kicks out at just one. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Can't prepare your face for that. Double stop. Oh, what a kick. Play it possum. Whoa, play it possum. She's quick to get her shoulder up. Not even close to down and out at this point. Bicycle knee strike. Out. She's take that could be it. She breaks the count quick. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Oh, uh. oh man, looks like her opponent's not gonna need a chiropractor. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Man, what a hit. Scouted. Go for the run. The fallaway slam. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. She's pushed into the corner. She's tagged in. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh, being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Uh-oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Ball oh, straight forward. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. And she goes for the pen. She kicks out with a authority after two. Wow. Don steers clear there. And Caden Carter is going full tilt here. Carter isn't holding anything back. She gets it. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Oh, what a knee. Targeting the neck. Textbook neck breaker. Placed in the corner. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Tag is made. Back suplex, oh, and a senton. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Round and round right into the satellite DDT. Basement drop kick. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Right the button. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And Sherry won't be having a good night if she allows more offense like that. Drop kick. Beautiful. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. 
Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Distress showing on Sherry's face. Sherry needs to bring the match back to her pace. The springboard attack fails to land. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Ooh. Quick thinking pays off. Great response to Sherry there. For schoolboy. Uh-oh. In a super kick. Comes in off the tag. Tag is made, and here we go. Oh, look at head scissors. She might be in some trouble now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. And Dawn beats her to the punch. Yeah. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Sorry, European uppercut. Roadhouse kick! Man. And that stops whatever Dawn intended. Getting set up for some tag is good. Tag made. What do these two superstars have in mind? From the top, no, from the shoulders. What in the world? All the way to the middle of the ring. Crashing down hard with a senton. Bad spot for Dawn. She's looking for the win. Whoa, what a save. That should have been three. Able to avoid there. Oh, man, that was nasty. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Right to the heart. Victory nearly in hands and gone. Caden saw it coming with the Lariat. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Oh my! Oh wait a second! Roll up! Kicks out before the two count. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. And she's stunned in the corner. Pinpointing the leg in the corner. Yeah. Got that suplex. Making it look easy. And Carter was the one who got cut down there. Yeah, Don brought the fire in a major way on that exchange. Textbook vertical suplex. Here's the cover for the win. And she fights it off. She just will not go away. Uh, our bar. Punishing stretch. Kick to the back. Able to get the advantage here. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Textbook side rush and leg sweep. I just she's got it. Got her shoulders down. Oh, barely kicks out. Obviously, still has some fight left. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Face buster. Man, that was vicious. Trap the arm. Into the neck breaker. Here's a cover. Could be it. Oh, I thought it was over, but again. Can we please get some control? Oh, put down face first. 
Once again, our women's division is putting the whole industry on notice with a match like this. As the arm into a hammerlock cinched in. The arm absorbing the damage. Right side headlock applied into a wet willy. Reminds me of high school. Tag me. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Oh, oh that's going to sting your back. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Shoulder right in the midsection. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. My God, enough! She covers for the pin! No, she kicks out. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Boom! Slam! With authority. There's a tag. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. She saw that. Sensational Sherry. Step over top. And she breaks free just in time. Going way up high. If this lands, it's over. Phoenix splash on the money. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Oh, man. Tag made. What do these two superstars have in mind? From the top, no, from the shoulders. What in the world? All the way to the middle of the ring into the centaur. That has Sherry rocked. No. Oh. That should do it right there. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Oh, ouch. She manages to get control. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. From behind, textbook neck breaker. In off the tag. <laughs> Jarring impact. WWE fans now pinning the arm down and, and a series of vicious stomps. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Bang. Tag. Boom. 
torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Reversal on chance. Draw kick. Beautiful. She's going for it. Two. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Watch her set up in the corner. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. Able to parry that one. Being carried out of the knees. Piercing the throat. She delivers her back into the ring. Tag. Here she comes. position. Close line. Avoided contact and brought a big attack of their own. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Placing them into the corner. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Tag is made. Tandem offense on its way from the very top rope. No, even higher from their partner's shoulders, crashing down hard with a senton. Well, that clinched things for Carter. Carter! And there's the save. Don steals clear there. Sound the alarm. Air raid siren. I don't know how you survive that. Oh, did you hear that? She got the shoulders down. Oh, what a kick out! How did she do that? How was that not three? Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. That has Katana run. Dawn rising up the turnbuckles. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. From the top rope. Oh! Shoulders down! What's going on here? 
Oh, some taunting going on. You know, I can't say I'm surprised. Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Drew Gulak is a walking compendium of wrestling knowledge. Well, that's how Gulak balances the scales against bigger opponents. Ready to outsmart and outfight anybody. An impressive young talent. And we know that impressive young talent, Nathan Frazier, sure knows how to soar. And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Oh, believe it or not, Nathan Frazier was actually trained by Seth freaking Rollins, perhaps the most prized pupil of the visionary. Well, that training's apparent from Nathan Frazier's innovative style and offense. Maintains a devil-may-care attitude towards any opponent. High-flying, high-risk, high-reward, all too familiar for Nathan Frazier. Well, hopefully Nathan learned a lesson or two from Icarus. Drew Gulak is a true student of the ring. He studied the history of this business, studied all of the all-time greats, and he's convinced all that homework gives him a leg up on any opponent. It's not just all that studying that makes Gulak dangerous. It's how viciously he applies it. Believe me, Drew Gulak is as cunning as they come. You're not. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. Yes, gory. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. from Gulak. Back body drop. Oh, you see the height on that? Insulting. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. To the sky. Boom. Denied and slammed down. 
Now that'll do some serious damage. Drew Gulak's deep arsenal can make him a pretty intimidating opponent. So what's the number one thing to keep in mind when facing him? You can't let Gulak take you down to the mat where he can get full control of you. Keep Gulak outside his comfort zone by pressing the attack at all times. Whip back into the ring. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't sit. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. And easily kicks out of the count. Not a very effective pin attempt. A picture perfect moonsault. You really have to be confident in you. This could be it. Cover. Strong kick out there. Still in it. Ah, look at this. Destructive arm breaker. He saw that one coming. Jumping knee strike. I like that. What's he gonna do here? The foot DDT! He went right into that turnbuckle. And full control here, face first. Uh-oh. Turning the tables. There it is. Boom, nice. Sure seems to be getting out of there in a hurry. A chance to get his thoughts together and regroup. Look ringside now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. Cut Jack! Face first. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. And that one misses the mark. Ripcord, Lariat. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Oh. He's starting to struggle here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing up. He thinks he has it. A kick out before three. That was a long two count there. Kick to the mid Uh-oh. Nathan dodges out of that. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. He turns it around. What an incredible moonsault. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Big time slam. Vicious. Back body drop. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. Yes. Oh, the gore. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Does the official not... We're going to act a good is locked in. Tap out. Do it now. Live the fight another day. Uh, rolls through. Nice escape. Oh, oh. Able to give him the slip. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars are actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Oh. And the cover for the win! Kicks out before one. He didn't even let the ref start the count. Fist directly to the gut. Nathan retaliates.
Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? The back suplex right onto the apron. As the wrist trapped, how humiliating. Just kicks to the face. Vicious knee drop. Escape just in time. There's the Canadian destroyer. Wow. That was a jaw-dropping move by Nathan Frazier. To the midsection. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Superstar was down and out. Whoa! Perhaps not. Yeah, you and me both. Look out. Boom! Forehead of steam. Turning this match completely around. These men have shown no indication of staying down. Their guts, their fire won't allow them to give up. Section prevents the attack. Swing neck breaker. Something's about to go either very wrong or very Frazier on top. Cross flash from Nathan Frazier. Cover. Two. Disappointing loss for this superstar. Yeah, really emotional. Very upset after what transpired in this match. And uh, here comes his manager, who obviously is not pleased. Well, we know how much work this manager has put in towards guiding this superstar's career. So, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, no, whoa, a lot of money left on the table. Understand both of these men's tempers running red. I think both these two just need to cool off. Manager lost his gravy train.
a Lucha Libre megastar now looking to dominate WWE. I'd say there's a very good chance he'll do that. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. This superstar possesses the smoothest tope suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. A man who has nothing but disdain for his competition, Ludwig Kaiser. Kaiser surveying the battlefield for the conflict to come. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Ludwig Kaiser! A piercing look on his face. No nonsense, all business. You know, I was minding my own business backstage, and this guy stared me down and then yelled at me to move out of his way. Bravo, Ludwig. Kaiser once again prepared to defend the honor of the ring. A man who has total devotion to his beliefs. Ready to impose them on anyone who gets in his way. This one's official, and the Emperor of Lucha Libre is ready to strike. Escobar fights for his familia and luchadors all over the world. Escobar comes correct with his exhilarating lucha style and lives life above the clouds. The man's got crazy game. Santos Escobar will fight hard for what he believes in, and he often catches his opponents unprepared for the reckoning to come. And that brings us to Ludwig Kaiser, a supremely disciplined competitor. Kaiser is so exacting between the ropes, rarely making missteps as he goes about his work of destroying his opponents. If you ask me, Kaiser's a little too cold and disciplined for his own good. He's so tightly wound that if anything goes wrong, he's liable to go totally ballistic. That's just dangerous for everyone involved. Corey, how do you plan for a superstar like Santos Escobar? Escobar has a hybrid offense, mixing lucha tradition with modern aggression. If you want to defeat him, you need to be able to weather the early storm and not let your guard down. Unbelievable athleticism. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Oh, reversal catches Santos. Set up the side rush and leg sweep. He takes control. Oh, God. A oh, torturous knee. And Escobar can't create any new tradition if he's taking hits like that. Ludwig Kaiser certainly put his best effort behind that move. Uh-oh. Great reaction from Santos. Into the corner now. Oh, this is just disrespectful. Here he goes for the win. Yeah. And they kick out in two. He really thought that was it. 
Wait, 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 wait! Shoulders up. Gonna take a lot more than that to keep this man down. Look at this. Snap suplex. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. Yeah, competition can really bring out the best in people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Dodges the attack by pushing off. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Setting him up for something here. Bam! Oh, man, he is more than... Big right hand to a dazed opponent. What are they thinking here? No way. Gut buster on the top turnbuckle. You really have to throw caution to the wind to even consider hitting something like that. Escalar. Exclamation delivered by Escobar. Amazing! Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you gotta do a little more to finally finish this. Look out! Oh, misses the mark! Nice cross body. For the win! Two! Digging deep for a kick out! What do you have to do to put this guy away? And an elbow drop, too. Ludwig plays over the leg. That's Bruton. Escobar is in serious danger. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Ah, uh, the competitor now exhausted after that match. Look at this mess. What's the meaning of this? Trash talking. Well, agitation from the top of the ramp. Apparently we've got a new robbery on our hands. And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California, the NXT Women's Champion, Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Hope she has a plan in mind against Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it is impossible to prepare for the unparalleled power that Raquel brings to the table. 
Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Raquel has more muscles in her back alone than Saxton does in his whole body. Excuse me? I mean, is he wrong? I just worked out. The bell rings and just look at Raquel Rodriguez, a towering figure in the women's division with fire in her eyes. And don't forget, an ability to completely bulldoze the competition, Cole. Insane power, unreal agility. There's a reason Raquel's able to just lay people out. Absolutely, Corey. Raquel Rodriguez is the real deal. But let's take a look at the woman across the ring, Bailey. One of the most confident and self-assured superstars we've ever seen. Bailey knows just how good she is and acts accordingly. Well, Bailey's not confident, she's just arrogant. She thinks she's the best the women's division has ever seen and will do anything to prove that point. The only people she gets along with are those willing to be her underlings. Bailey turning up the intimidation factor. Ah. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Expected that one. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Getting tossed around. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. A counter answered by another counter. Tell me, what does Bailey have to do to assure victory in this match? Well, victory is never assured, Cole, but Bailey's a competitor who knows how to find and really hone in on her opponent's weakness. If she breaks her down tonight, it could be the key to victory. Uh oh. High angle, belly to back suplex. That dodge can buy Raquel time. Right to the kidneys from behind. Things not going how she'd like. Raquel there remains an intimidating presence no matter how far into this match we go. Goes into the pin. There's two. Pushes through after two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Oh. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, that hurt to the spot. Picking the spot. So much damage inflicted. Targeting a body part, working the arm. From the top. Are you kidding me? I don't care how much you train, you can't prepare for a commercial airline to come crashing down on you like that. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Scouted. Excellent opportunity. Check in the back of the knee. Watch this. Close play by Bailey. Does Rodriguez have any fight left? Two. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. I think it took everything Raquel had left in her to power out of that pin attempt. Bailey feeling like she was just robbed of the opportunity to gain the ball. My God. Enough. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Up high. Cross body. 
All measured up. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. I am stunned by what we've seen from these women so far. These competitors are redefining, digging deep, and giving your all. Oh, jaw shattering. She adjusts it and reverses it. Going right after the shit. Dragon screw. Rodriguez with the nice turnaround. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Oh, Bailey has seen enough. Bailey in total control. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Got their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. Drop kick. Playing possum! Whoa! Playing possum! Kick out. She still has life. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. And that prevents Bailey's attack. Another big move! Boom! Power bomb! Raquel might have clipped it there. The cover. And she's still in the game. And we knew Bailey was stubborn, but you got to admit, she showed her toughness with that kick out. And a look of confusion is on Raquel's face. Unsure how things aren't over yet. The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath for what's to come next. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Taking it outside the ring now. Knew what was coming there. Two. Sit out. Slam. Three. Carefully measured knee drop. A burst of offense from Raquel. Attack after attack from Rodriguez. Referee's count only getting higher. Come on, got to get back in the ring. This could be big. Going up from the top. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. That misstep could have cost them this match entirely. A hard landing for sure. And that was a rough landing from that toss. Just disrespectful. Goodness gracious. She sent back in under the ropes. And it's Raquel Rodriguez who leaves here the winner. Raquel Rodriguez, the personification of unbridled power, standing victorious.
the original, the official, the only club that matters. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. A high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. This man's opponent has winning embedded in his DNA. A major test when facing off against Braun Breaker. This is one intimidating superstar. I agree with you, Saxton. I pity those who pick a fight with Braun Breaker. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. You got to shield yourself against relentless attacks. AJ does not have an off switch. The seemingly endless motor possessed by the phenomenal one. The second generation sensation, Braun Breaker, looking to continue making his family proud tonight. Breaker has really been focused on forging his own path, creating his own legacy here in WWE. He's done the math, and he knows it spells disaster for anyone who dares get in his way. I think it's an understatement to say he's going to have quite the challenge on his hands facing off against AJ Styles, though. Yeah, there is obviously no shortage of fight in Styles, but the same goes for his in-ring ability. They don't call him the phenomenal one for nothing. Takedown, looking for the cross face, it cinched it. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. And he had bronze. Oh, wrestling it's down. Five. It cinched in. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Jay caught him. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top! He misses the target! Short flight, but a rough landing. Oh, strong forearm. Able to reverse that one! Great agility! Faithful into the reverse DDT. Corey, it has to be a pretty... AJ Styles rolling through. Will he tap? Can he hang on? Trying with all his might, but are you kidding oh, me? An elbow, what a counter! Looking for a scoop slam, and from behind, inverted DDT. And the steam. Jumping knee drop. So precise. He's on his heels a bit now. That was one way to get things phenomenally done. He switches it back around. And 
Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Beautiful spin out powerbomb. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Oh, it's so we can be. Oh, he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. And now thrown back into the ring. And he sends him into the corner. Got them right in the corner. For the win. AJ Styles walking away with the win. That was the kind of phenomenal performance we've come to expect from AJ. The LWO looking to turn up the heat tonight. They're already feeling it, already feeling the energy of the crowd. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 365 pounds. Joaquin Wild and Cruz Del Toro, the LWO. There's a lot of pride that comes with being a member of the LWO. Each and every one of these members are mighty proud of what they're a part of. And that pride translates into their top-level performance in the ring. Here comes the street champion. First, representing the bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. A man of very few words, Solo prefers to let his fists do all the talking. You talk about intimidation factor, Solo has this entire arena feeling uneasy right now. Sokoa only has one thing on his mind right now, and that's destruction. This could get ugly fast.
The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. Here we go, the LWO ready to compete here in this one. Such a talented group of superstars coming together for a common goal. I want to represent the Latino culture. I want to represent a legacy in this business. The LWO is bigger than just these teammates, and that's what they want everyone to know. Yeah, looking around at the crowd, at all the fans wearing LWO shirts representing this team proudly, that's what it's all about. Good to be in Orlando, an adopted home of sorts for WWE. Yeah, there's lots of fun parks here, too. Saxon goes to those discount theme parks, just like he's a discount Every broadcaster. Time. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, Corey. Not many people go to it, but that means there's no lines. Hey, want to go with me, Michael? No, Byron. No chance. Ever. He's turning the tables. Oh, man. Oh, right to the throat. Oof. Getting him into the corner. Close line in the corner. Oh, that'll clean your clock. And that will bring some frustration to Cruz. Yeah, as Jimmy was staking his claim with that. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. Can he do it here? Oh, finally, monumental victory. Here are your winners. Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. The Bloodline. A tough loss for the LWO here tonight. You can't keep the LWO down for long, though. This loss is only going to make them come back that much stronger.